The story of how we originally did the university investment in connected vehicles is funny. I had started working on a very large project with LDOT and signal performance measures, and then my bosses called me into their office, my deans. They sat me down and they said, hey, it looks like stuff's going really well. Tell us what's going on. So I explained to them the project and what we were aiming for, and they asked me a question I was not ready for. They said, what can we do to help? I said, the thing that I want to see happen is to have Tuscaloosa become the connected vehicle city in this state. We want to share information with drivers to help them understand what's going on ahead. What curves, what features, what roadway, what crash, what incident might be out there. Red light. It started off looking at smartphones as we were driving around here, but then really quickly it's moved into the vehicle cluster, into the infotainment systems, where that information is becoming real time and shared. It's a way to communicate with the public. It's a way for the public to get alerts and better awareness of, let's say, uh, a fire and rescue vehicle is coming. It's also good for pedestrian safety. If we have a pedestrian crossing a street pushing an RRFB, pedestrian ahead. I think that there is going to be a, a great amount of use that we haven't even dived into with Glance and our traffic system. As connected vehicles become more prevalent, this has created a way that we can cater to that need, and it's all of just a part of the AI platform. But we had help from AI and Temple, extensive help from Temple with the installation process, and AI was constantly available to help us configure the devices. We like the connected vehicle feature because it, it lets the public know that we've got a truck that's en route to a call, so they're on the lookout for it. Distracted driving, music, everything else is all a challenge that we face. And so if we can find other ways to let them know the fire trucks are coming, we're definitely on board with that. We hope it becomes a standard within all vehicles because, I mean, we're one very small piece of a very large first responder community. And so if we can get this nationwide and protect responders all over the country, it's an absolute win-win. Welcome to Cary. I'm David Spencer. I'm the traffic engineering manager. I am the project manager for our connected vehicle project. We also have our private partners, Applied Information and Temple Inc. Our goal here is to make our transportation system as safe and efficient for, for drivers, for cyclists, pedestrians, emergency vehicle operators, transit operators as well. These devices will allow you as a motorist, as a pedestrian, as a user of our transportation system to stay connected to get information about what's going on around you to make your drive safer and more efficient. Pedestrian ahead. Connected vehicle technology is burgeoning and on the cusp of what its potential is and we're using this as an opportunity to pilot this, to be leaders in this field so that other municipalities around us can take advantage of it and learn as well. Get ready for green. I think in the future it's going to be quite funny when we describe, we used to drive 55 miles an hour and we would look at a little 12 inch light and whether it was green, yellow or red we would go through the intersection. I think that'll be crazy in the future when we describe that where that'll be in the vehicle you'll have much better information and guidance and control as you're going through an intersection.